What's going on YouTube? So I want to run you through a few books that I really enjoyed, man. So going into 2022, I wanted to give you an updated book list of the things I've been reading and things that I'm currently reading. So it's going to be a mixture of the two, but either way, I hope you're going to, I think you're going to enjoy what I'm about to say. Let's get into the video. All right, so book number one is gonna be Never Split the Difference. The reason why this book is so powerful and so important is because no matter what we do in life, we're in a constant negotiation terms. Like, people will try to get whatever they can from you, right? They want you to purchase the home at a ridiculous price. They want you to buy the candy bar. Your brother and sister are not gonna give you their TV remote. Like, Never Split the Difference is gonna teach you not to negotiate with people or how to negotiate with people. That way you always come out on top. Check out this book. All right, so the book Up From Slavery by Booker T. Washington. I know you heard me mention this book, uh, Tuskegee University. If this is a required reading book. This book is so great because Booker T. Washington really built Tuskegee University from nothing. Like you gotta really grasp back for a second. A university was built with the leadership of one guy from nothing. Like they didn't even have the buildings. They had to make their own buildings. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a really powerful book to really illustrate how you, like you asking somebody for help. And if you read the book, you'll find out who he asked for help and who gave him help. That way Tuskegee Uni University could be what it is today. Very powerful man, man, very smart man, very intelligent, and um, I really enjoyed the book. So thinking for a change, the reason why this book is so, so powerful, I actually mentioned this book before already, but I like this book so much. It really shapes the way on how we think affects who we are as people, man. I'm not gonna speak too much on that because that pretty much sums up the book. How you think is who you are as a human being and is gonna dictate who you will be. So if you don't have a lot of money and you wanna get into rental property, this is one of those books you wanna read. The reason why is because this book right here literally goes step by step on what you need to do, how to get a loan, how to register your LLC, how to do your taxes, why do you need uh, financial advisors, why do you need to manage your books, all this book goes into all of that. Like in the audio book, you learn so much, so much that you're gonna have to replay this book. That way, if you wanna be a, a rental property investor, this is how you get into it, man. Hands down, one of the must read books. Now I know you heard of this one, man, The Art of War. The reason why The Art of War is so powerful is because they use these, these stories, these parables on how these kings and queens and gestures and common men, how they operated in their time and then it illustrated to where a point where to the point that you can understand and how to implement these ideas into your own life. Now I'm not saying that they're they're used to deceive people, but sometimes if you meet somebody, they might be playing by the rules of the art of war. But you just reading this book, it'll give you totally a different view on how on how people operate, even how you operate. So if you haven't checked out this book, The Art of War, I highly suggest you check it out. It's a great book. As always, YouTube, man, I appreciate you guys checking out the videos, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.